My name is Antonio Salgado Somoza. Now I'm senior analytical scientist in the AS team of Exotera Viral Vectors Digital PCR as my main activity. Exotera is a CDMO, is a proud member of Universals and it has two groups of services. One service is viral vectors, the other one is the nucleic acids. What we do normally is just produce any viral vector that our client requires, from development to manufacturing. So we have upstream and downstream purification. We are trying to develop all of our analytical methods inside. In the past day, we have the opportunity to test a machine from Stila, it's called the NIO Plus. In that machine, we tested several of the experiments that we are doing currently in droplet digital PCR, and we transferred that to, to the digital PCR system of the, of the NIO. We tested mainly the viral titration, but also some assays that we have for residual quantification. And we tested several samples from samples that we use in development of our assays for linearity and qualification to some samples that we have in routine of the upstream team and the downstream team. The first thing that I noticed is it was the footprint. When we put the machine in the lab, it's like the bench space that it took it was really limited compared to all of the things that the machine is doing at the same time. You have prepared your samples with your master mix, then you just take the chips out of the box, clean the chips with an anti-static electricity solution, pre-pierce because it's much easier for the workflow that we were applying, load your samples carefully in the NIO chip, and you just introduce it in the machine and that's all, then you come back for your results. The software was dealing with that pretty quick. You move from well to well with almost no time. It was surprisingly quick. One maybe that I didn't expect it was the, the possibility of just feeding the machine at any time. And then it was surprisingly good, let's say, the quality control. When you look at the crystals, you actually see what is happening in your sample. The main differences that we have with the workflow from, from the droplet digital PCR to the one that you were proposing with the NIO Plus is that the technician have to spend more time just transferring from one place to the other. If you have four machines instead of one, of course you, you have to, to move from one machine to the other. My interaction with the Stila Technologies team was really pleasant, let's say. We have an expert for what is happening inside of the machine and one expert for what is happening outside of the machine. Both of them really, really friendly and they were answering any question that you have. Afterwards, we have them here during the week for any troubleshooting that we have during the experiments. After the first two or three chip plates, we could run our own experiments already.